Good morning everyone. This is another session on palmistry and astrology and in this video we will try to understand a sample horoscope and then we'll go into uh, more detailing of the same and this video will be split into two parts in the first part i'll be just telling or describing about the horoscope and how to parallelly check it with palmistry and in the next video we will go with the inferences or the results now starting with this horoscope you see the first house second house all the houses i have written in capital numbers you know uh, like 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so you can see all these are the fixed houses these don't change okay and now let us see the sub parts now see this is house number uh, this is sign number 1 here sign number 12 sign number 11 so sign number 10 is also placed here so what will happen so the person has sign number 10 in the first house and the first house is nothing but your rising sign or the ascendant sign and it tells about you it tells about your par, uh, you know personality it tells about your mannerism it tells about your physical features your complexion and things like that it also rules your head to an extent so it does tell about your mental vigor and to an extent it also tells about uh, your behavior to an extent so now saturn is placed okay you can clearly see saturn is placed in the first house in sign number 10 now sign number 10 is capricorn okay and the minute we see capricorn we understand that the ruler of capricorn is uh, actually saturn itself and that means that saturn is placed in its own house which is a very good sign because if saturn is placed in its own house it will give good results it will make the person very hard working it will make the person very very responsible it will make the person very having the qualities of perseverance working in a, uh, will give an interest in mysticism it will make the person a very methodical researcher something like that if your saturn is strong you do get a lot of recognition you do get success after your effort so saturn is a very you know helpful planet that way it respects your hard work it respects your uh, working and based on that it does give you results if it is placed well now parallelly if we do check into the palm in the palm you will see the amount of saturn to be well developed the amount of saturn is located here and if it is protruded pinkish in color and having a single vertical line it will mean the same thing that saturn is strong in the horoscope if saturn is strong in the horoscope either it is present in the friendly sign or it's present in its own sign so that's how you can keep cross checking now let us get ahead now the second uh, if we come to the second house okay second house is ruled by in this case rahu okay rahu is present here and rahu is present in the sign of aquarius okay then jupiter is present in the here jupiter is placed in house number 3 and in the uh, in the sign of pisces which is very good you know the third house is very strong we can make that out okay we will go into later how to interpret it but for now you can understand that jupiter will give good results so the amount of jupiter in the hand will be well developed because jupiter is comfortably placed in its own house that is pisces and the minute it is in pisces you have to understand that this person will be very very caring and very spiritual okay now let us go to the fourth house now in the fourth house you can see the sign number 1 is present now the minute sign number 1 is present that is the sign of aries okay so aries now mars is present in its own house that is aries okay so mars is very comfortable to an extent here and also the fourth house represents your family it tells about how your uh, you know family interaction with family how uh, how you feel at home what you feel at home so here a strong mars in the fourth house would mean that uh, you take authority in your family okay you take roles a lot of uh, uh, you know leadership qualities are seen here especially in the home life and your family life and your relationship with your parents can also be a bit bossy you have to be you know a bit careful but nevertheless it it uh, it is comfortable mars is in its own sign so it will give a lot of mental vigor to the person uh, especially in home matters and the person will be you know you know very good in family relations home but again uh, here also an emphasis should be given that this person can be a bit of leader and can be a bit dominating 
okay now going with the fifth house now fifth house sign number two is present and sign number two is uh, nothing but the sign of Taurus and we have to look at the positioning of Venus now Venus is uh, present in the ninth house we'll come to that later but for now we can just say that in the fifth house now, or in the second house um, sorry in the fifth house that is the house of creativity and education the sign of Taurus is present the minute we say that uh, these Taurians are very hard working very very you know loyal so we can expect this person in career and the person will be very loyal very hard working will have all the traits of a two true Taurian so that's how we have we interpret the person's uh, you know job line Okay, now we'll be continuing our discussion in the next video. I hope I have not made this video very heavy. And we'll go ahead and interpret the other houses as well in the next video. And hopefully you know how to parallelly check it with the palm as well. So we'll be con continuing our discussions in the next video. For now, these are just the basics. I'm Shwetank into palm history, numerology and astrology. Do check my channel for more. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.